Hello there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition on Nitric Oxide Causes Diabetes. Lack of nitric oxide. A bit of a stretch, but let me explain it. The fact is the data has been there, and it's only as we've learned to measure nitric oxide that it makes sense and we can understand it. What we now know is Diabetes isn't a diagnosis, it's a continuum. The Whitehall study from Great Britain showed that folks who have fasting blood sugar below 86 never get vascular disease. But 86 is an A1C of like 5.1 or 5.2. We say diabetes is by definition 6.4. I would contend that diabetes is actually developing anywhere in between. So if you have a fasting blood sugar of 88, you will have about a, let's see, that's two points above 86. Six times two is 12, 12% 12 increased risk of heart disease. If you have a fasting blood sugar of 96, 10 times six, 60% increase in heart disease. Oh, there's a linear relationship of risk as you go up, and that's all diabetes developing. And what happens? How does it develop and how does that have nitric implications on nitric oxide? Turns out when we eat highly processed, refined foods with flour products and sugars, the standard American diet from pancakes and bread to crackers and, and delicious processed food, fast food, our blood sugar shoots up very quickly and rapid rise in blood glucose suppresses nitric oxide. Nitric oxide then makes you insulin resistant, lack of nitric oxide. And so you're now caught in a perfect gyre. You can't get out of it. And after doing that for decades and decades, you become more and more insulin resistant, gradually accumulate kidney damage from high insulin levels. You start having kidney failure, high blood pressure, diabetes, and inflammation. But it started with lack of nitric oxide or of the standard American diet. So what's a person to do? Consider starting by eating no flour and no sugar. And as an adult, you can say, can I reverse this? And we can. You can lose weight with difficulty and you can take nitric oxide. You can. There are now kits you can purchase to measure nitric oxide 20 times, just get some spit and put it on the kit and it'll tell you. That'll tell you your nitric oxide level. This nitric oxide story has legs. That may be what we're doing when we eat the standard American diet, suppressing our nitric oxide, making us get diabetes. Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition.